Hello and welcome to the Andrew Plays channel. If you're returning here, please leave a like down below. If you're new here, please also hit subscribe because we've got a brand new series for you today. We've also got some other series on the channel which I will mention in just a moment. But of course, you've seen the title down below. We are back for our new series, Bluebirds Flying. We are Cardiff City and we're going to try and take them back to the Premier League. So if you are new here, as I say, please do leave a subscribe down below. The support is greatly appreciated and it's great to have you here. We have started a new save after our recent unknown to world known has finished. And this is what we've decided to do. Last year we went to St Albans. Admittedly, that was more around like April time. This year, videos were a, bit, a little bit more sporadic at times. So it's taken us a bit longer to finish it. So this time we're just going down to the championship because I think this is something that gives us a chance to get in the Premier League, start to move up the league, but also, you know, we're not as we've not got an exact target in mind. We just want to take them as far as we can before FM twenty three. A little bit of information about Cardiff here. They enjoyed their greatest series of success in the nineteen twenties, and despite having not won anything for eight years, they're one of the most successful clubs in Wales. Obviously, 37 competition wins, finished runners-up in the English top flight once in 1924, FA Cup in the 1927 season, and runners-up in that twice. We've won the English second tier, so obviously the championship back in 2013. They did get relegated straight away, though, and finished runners-up on four occasions, and most recently had a runners-up in the EFL Cup. Last season they finished 8th in the league. We've got 33,000 capacity stadium, which is pretty decent. However, as you can see here, not a lot of transfer budget there for us. Only half a million pounds. Let's go through and have a look. So at the moment they're recommending a 5-3-2. A 3-3-2-2, depending on how you look at it. Uh, we've got Tommy Doyle on loan from Manchester City, who doesn't appear... Oh, yes, he does. He's a central midfielder there. Ik Pizu, Cody Drama. Quite a lot of players on loan at the moment that I don't know if we've got like options to buy on some of them. We'll have to have a look. So they want us to finish in the top half, reach the fourth round of the FA Cup, the third round of the EFL Cup. They also want us to play attacking football, which kind of contradicts with what they've got formation wise. And they've would like us next season to then reach the playoffs and work towards gaining promotion. They need us to win promotion by the end of the five-year plan. So we've got plenty of time for that. Let's go through and have a little look at what we've got in the team so far. So just having a look here, you can see we've got two pretty good goalkeeping options with Alex Smithies and Dylan Phillips. Phillips, the younger option, uh, but Smith is still. 31 as a goalkeeper is pretty young. We've got quite a few strong centre-backs, which would be why they've got the option of the three at the back. But then full-backs and wing-backs, they're not like... They've not got tons of options. If we're going to play with the five at the back, I think we need another left wing-back at the very least. We've got a few, quite a few good midfielders in here. Obviously, Tom and Doyle's on loan, but not many who like to be attacking except for Sam Bowen, but he's 20 years old, so more of a youngster. But potentially a position for him in the team uh, uh, by the by fact of he wants to be an attacking player. Going further forward, we've got quite a lot of oak, like decent strikers. There's nobody that's absolutely stand out, although Ruben Col Colwell here, 19 years old, already... Judge as our second best striker. We're definitely going to be looking to get him tied down on a contract. Although he also likes to play attacking midfield. So perhaps we could work something in. We've not got much in the way of wingers. So I think wing backs might be our way forward. Joe Rowles looks like a very good player. But he can play in central midfield. So we'll probably... I think at the moment looking at that. We're looking kind of at like a... Possibly what was recommended to be fair. 
maybe that or something with an attacking midfielder in there. Maybe something that's got the option of you know, where you can have either the 5-2-1-2 or the 5-1-2-2 type of thing. We'll have to have a look at that. We start the season against Barnsley and then Coventry in the Cup. We'll probably have Barnsley towards the end of this episode. I think at the moment we're not going to have a look around too much more. We are predicted to finish 10th in the league at the moment. There's not really much in the way of a chance for us to bring in. You know, we've got £15,000 extra on the wage budget, £500,000 on the transfer budget. We're probably going to be looking more at can we bring any extra players in on loan rather than can we buy someone. However, we've got a decent place to start from here and hopefully we can just build on what we've got. I would personally, I'd like to be possibly in the playoffs this year. Maybe not winning them, but you know, get into the playoffs so that we can then build for next year and have a, a more of a challenge towards the top top two. I think that's kind of what we need at the moment. We do need to try and improve that youth recruitment because that is not very good. That's going to be high on our priorities list, I can tell you that much. Our key player is Sean Morrison, also our captain. Does look a very good centre-back, to be fair. So our key player is actually Joe Rowles, who is our player. He has been he's basically been with Cardiff his whole career, effectively. And, yeah, we're definitely going to want to keep him here. But, yeah, I think the key is going to be, can we bring in a few players on loan just to strengthen up any weak points? We'll be looking to the Premier League teams to do that and see what we can bring in. We'll be back with the transfers that we make. And the game against Barnsley. As I say, if you are looking forward to the series, hit like down below. Let me know your score prediction at this point for that Barnsley game, which we were back in in just a moment. We're back just ahead of the game against Barnsley. We're going to do a quick run through uh, transfers. There's not been a lot going on. We've had a lot of interest in people. We have not been able to bring many in. We have brought in Brian Oviedo. He's coming from Copenhagen for £375,000 after he left Sunderland for free. He looks still a very decent player, particularly for this level. He's 31. I said we needed a, another left wing back because we didn't have many options there. So that's what he's coming to be, another option for us. We have had interest in multiple loans, but as you can see, we've unfortunately not been able to actually bring anybody else in at the moment we've still got 200,000 left in our transfer budget and 8,000 left in our wage budget so we are still going to be on the lookout among the people that we, we, we looked at there was El Mahamadi, uh Freddie Guarin and a few others I can't remember all of them but nevertheless it's time to start the championship season with a game against Barnsley we are at home for this first game if we go onto the season preview screen Barnsley are predicted to finish 20th while we are 11th, although 20th and only 50 to 1 isn't that, that's bizarre, really. So, hopefully, we can pick up a good result on the opening day. As you can see, neither of us have got anybody in the Dream 11, which is Fulham and Bournemouth dominated by the goalkeeper. So you would expect Fulham and Bournemouth to be the two that get promoted, but we'll have to wait and see. In some ways, that might be good for us if they, they can kind of get their promotion out of the way. Because then, hopefully, the teams that come down are not as good as them. I know that, yeah, if, like, if it was Norwich and Watford that come down, along with somebody else, I think that gives us a chance of being able to challenge those guys whereas I, th I think Bournemouth and Fulham were probably unlikely to challenge but let's get into the first game against Barnsley so the lineup for the game against Barnsley we've got Smith is in goal a back three of McGuinness, Flint and Morrison Bakuna and Oviedo as the wing backs Pack as the holding midfielder and then Doyle and Colwell as the Mazzalas either side of him and then Collins and Harris up front we are missing a few players due to injury that Ikpizu the main one that I would have liked to have in the team Sam Bowen not ready to play a match at the moment because of his injury. But hopefully 
a strong enough team to get us started for the season. We have a first highlight just over half an hour in. It starts with a Barnsley throw-in. It's back to Helm at the back for them. And then Gomez plays it forward to Morris and to Styles on the left-hand side. Tries to get space down here, but Bakuna does well to get a foot in. What I've kind of gone with here with the wing-backs. So we've got Bakuna who can kind of come in when we want a more attacking wing-back. And then we've got Ing who can play when we want more defensive fullback. Doyle has picked up the ball here. Bakuna receives it, plays it inside to Doyle. And then across to the far post, Colwell with the shot and it goes just over the bar. Colwell is one of the youngsters who looks like he's got a lot of potential. So we'll be definitely looking to keep him in. Colwell manages to keep the ball here, gets a ball over the top, finds Doyle in behind. Oh, he puts it wide. That was a big chance. That one should have been 1-0. We have a highlight just before half-time as we play it out from the back here. Bakuna back to McGuinness and then forward to Bakuna. What I do like about this formation is it's not really something I've used a lot. Whereas sometimes you fall into the trap of using the same things as Doyle makes it 1-0. He doesn't miss this chance. Brilliant ball from Marlon Pack. The, hold him with, uh, the deep line playmaker, no less. So doing exactly what we wanted him to do. And it's a brilliant ball through to Doyle. And then the finish here into the bar bottom corner at the far post. Right on the verge of half time. Lovely time to score. And means we go in at half time 1 0 up. It has been pretty dominant from us so far. Hopefully that will maintain through the second half. Pack on the ball here. Colwell to Collins. Back to Colwell. He thought about having a shot there. I think Pack plays it out to Oviedo. Colwell inside to Collins who gets a low shot and it goes just wide of the post. Collins with a kick for Barnsley in goal. Ball forward to Colwell. Plays the ball through to Harris. Can he get past his man? Oh, he puts it into the side there and a good effort there from Harris. We're going to make our first change which is going to be to bring Rowles on for Doyle and then we'll swap him and Colwell. He was just the first player who started to show a bit of tiredness. And we'll also bring Perry on for Bakuna and drop him back to a supporting one back. And with 10 minutes to go, our final change, we're going to bring Hugh Gill on for Mark Harris up front. Queena with a free kick for Barnes. It's to Gomez on the edge. He hits it against the crossbar. Very nearly a late equaliser for Barnsley there. Goal kick for Barnsley here. Colin sends it forward. Flint heads it away. But only as far as Queena. Gomez to Ezekiel. Ball switched out towards Cole. But Oviedo's there to head it back to Smithies in goal. Now we just need to you know, keep it calm. We've only got a few minutes left until the game finishes. Smithies boots it long. Only to Williams however. That's not ideal. Queena on the ball. Tries to play a ball forward. But good from McGuinness to intercept it. Pack. Ball tries to find Hugh Gill but gives it away. Queener through to Izeka and Smith is with a big save there to deny Barnsley a late equaliser. We just need to hold on through this corner now. Queener sends it in. It's head of the way. Collins collects it. Lays it off to Ung. <laughs> Gonna have to call him Perry. And inside to Colwell. Back to Perry on the right hand side. Inside to Colwell, Collins, and back to Colwell again. Tries to find a bit of... Oh, that, that, that was a poor pass. McGuinness is at the back here to pass it back to Smithies, and then out to the left-hand side for Oviedo, who's had a very solid debut for us here. Morrison on the ball now. Plays it forward towards Hugo, but gives it away. I don't like how long this highlight's gone on for. Flint to Colwell. Surely this is like an end of game highlight at this point. Collins out to Rowles. Chance to put it across the box. Inside to Hugill. It's not an end of game highlight. It's a second goal for Cardiff City. 2-0 against Barnsley. We wrap the game up. Rowles got the ball on the left hand side here. Just inside of him. Hugill with a powerful header into the top corner. So we start the season with a pretty dominant 2-0 win there. Yeah, I think at half time, if I remember correctly, Barnsley had had two shots. So, we controlled the game really well. 
There's a lot of good performances in there. Oviedo on his debut. Bakuna was probably the player that let us down the most. And I thought he was going to be one of our star players. Obviously, it's one game. Can't read too much into it. But a very nice start. So we've got Coventry in the EFL Cup first round. I think what we'll look to do is probably come back for the second or third round, assuming we get to them. And if not, then we'll look at Reading and Swansea because uh, Swansea and Fulham, actually looking at that, would be quite a nice place to come back. But hopefully the third round might fall somewhere around there. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment if you're looking forward to watching this new series unfold. Do and go check out my other series, Basking in World Out and Unknown to World Known, if you are new here. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for watching.